Hi, Pete says here. So you received your incredible package, your incredible vitality vessel, your incredible liquid light vessel. So I thought I'd do a video to help you understand some vital information, how to unbox and put together your bottle. So I hope um, this will be helpful. And if you have any questions or queries, uh, feel free to contact me. Also, please make sure that you do read in full the user manual and the instruction manual. Okay, so when we open the pack, we got our first incredible message from the amazing founder, creator of this light vessel, Nuno Nina. Then we have our base. Now, our base comes with a little cap screwed in. What we do is we simply unscrew this cap. And then also there is a protective film on the LED screen. So you can also peel that off if you wish uh, or leave it on to protect the LED screen. On the bottom, you also have some information and you have a QR code that when you scan it, it will give you the serial number. So if you ever have any warranty uh, issues or any issues when you contact uh, Lumavite, then you would reference this serial number. Okay, now we also have the lid here. And again, on the lid, you have a protective film on the LED screen. So again, you can peel all that off if you wish, or you can leave it on to have it protected. Then, of course, we have the main component, the main part, which is the bottle that will hold our incredible molecular hydrogen rich water. Uh, we also have a user manual. Okay, now this is a short version, and there is a QR code on here which you should scan, and it will take you to the more in depth, longer uh, manual which you should read. But please also read this. In full it's obviously very short um, but there is some important information on there then we also have the USB charger cable so this part obviously just plugs into any standard USB adapter so you know most of us all have a smartphone so you know that's just can plug straight into that and then of course the other part the USB C plug will plug into the lid and also to the base for charging. Now for charging, we also have in the box a base wireless charger. So this is where you can connect this um, to a USB power outlet. You connect it to the base and you can wirelessly charge the base. So you'd sit the base on there and then it will start to charge. And once it's fully charged, um, yeah, you will see that the battery is full and then you can take it off and start to use it. Now, just be mindful that it's only the base that works with the wireless charging. The lid has to be plugged in by the USB-C port. Okay, and the one last thing in the box is a spare O-ring. So in the base, here where the main part of the molecular hydrogen production comes from and there is an O-ring in there and that over time may wear out because you will be screwing and unscrewing potentially the bottle part. And so when that wears out or when potentially the bottle is leaking because it's worn out, this is where you can take that out and replace it with this spare O-ring. Okay, now assembling the bottle, there is a very, very important part and this Part, the bottle part only goes one way, one way only. So we have to be mindful and careful of that because if we put it any other way, we could potentially damage the bottle or the base part. Okay, so the way we assemble it, on the bottle part, you will see that there is the logo. Now that logo will face the opposite side of the LED. So it will face where the USB charge port is so if i put it like that okay and then i turn it this way so you can also see there's the led and there's nothing here 
And then what we do is we turn it 180 degrees clockwise. Okay, and there we go. And now, as you can see, the logo is lined up with the LED and everything is nicely flush and nicely lined up. Okay, now when you do this, please be mindful that there is, I will try and show you, a bit of a gap between the bottle and the base. So you can fit a credit card or uh, some paper in there. Now be mindful, this is by design and this was designed like that on purpose because as you take this off and as you put it back on, we don't want the bottle part or especially the base part over here to get scratched. So it's designed by that, by the incredible Nuna Nina to make sure that, um, yeah, there's no scratches over time that will start to be on the base and even the bottle. So again, to put the bottle part into the base, the logo part faces the back where the USB charger port is. And then we just twist 180 degrees. And then as you see, again, the logo matches up with the front, the LED. Now the lid is very simple. You just put that on and twist and turn until it nicely lines up. And as you can see here, that it's lined up nicely flush. And as you can see that the both USB charging ports are all lined up at the back. And that's how you assemble your bottle. Now, with charging, again, you can just, when you're charging the base, you can just put it on as, as wirelessly and it will charge. Of course, it only charges the base. To charge the lid, you'd have to take that off and plug it in with the USB-C cord to charge the lid. You may find that, yes, the lid will last a lot longer than the base because, of course, the base uses um, more power and electricity and does a... Yeah, it creates the molecular hydrogen. So this is the electrolysis process that happens in the base. Um, okay, now let's go through a few things. Firstly, what water do we use in the bottle? Um, actually, before I do that, when you get it, what you want to do is potentially do a bit of a cleaning process of it. And what you do is you just fill it up and you put warm water okay so once once it's assembled you create a bit of a solution so you create warm water in a glass and you put some lemon fresh lemon just cut the lemon and squeeze some lemon stir that and then pour that into the bottle into once it once it's fully assembled so it's fully assembled and you pour it in and then you put the lid on and then you would give it a bit of a shake a few times and then maybe even run a cycle, a three minute or six minute cycle, and then you would discard, throw out that water. Now also as a general housekeeping rule, longer term, it's a good idea to maybe even monthly to give a good clean of um, the bottle and especially the electrolysis plates and the membrane. And again, how you do that is the same way. You would uh, use warm water, put some lemon into it, and then pour it into the bottle. Now, what you could do is leave that overnight to let it sit, and the acidity will, um, yeah, basically, if there's any residue that starts to build up, because obviously there's minerals in the water, so over time, it could start to build up some um, mineral uh, on the PEM membrane. And so that's a good way to yeah, clean it overnight with some water. And then of course you throw that water out. And if you wish, again, you could put some warm water with lemon and run a cycle and discard that. And that's the only cleaning, that's the only maintenance that the bottle needs, no other maintenance really. Um, so do not use any harsh detergents or soaps or anything to clean any part of the bottle. Um, also keep in mind that this is as much as it's a bottle, it's an electronic device, okay? So we do not use it the same way we don't use electronic devices in any um, environments of, of harsh 
especially moisture or wet conditions. So in no saunas, no fridge or freezer, and uh, you know we don't immerse the bottle or any of the parts in water or any liquid because it is electrical components. Uh, okay, now what water do we use? Now, water is always a controversial topic and people are a little bit um, confused. So the recommendation from Nuno Nina is, and this is not just for the bottle, this is the water that we as humans should be consuming for our optimal well-being and health. So firstly, it's filtered or natural uh, mineral spring water. And this is something that you can buy or you can buy a good filter that then gives you, so the output should be with a TDS or dry residue, which is also referred to as of under 100, ideally between 20 and 60. Okay, and then the pH under seven, which is neutral. So the water should be slightly acidic and anywhere from about 4.8 or even four uh, to about 6.8. Now, all you can do is do your best to get as close as you can to those values and always do your due diligence, research and try and find better sources and uh, alternatives if the water that you're consuming or drinking is far off what's recommended. But this isn't just for the bottle, this is also for what you should be putting into your body. Tap water is a big no. Um, that's for two reasons. One is that there's endless toxic harmful chemicals in tap water, and that is generally across the world. Now, yes, there are places, some places maybe in this world that the water is not so uh, toxic, but overall, generally speaking, tap water is highly toxic. So you don't want to put it in the bottle because it will potentially over time damage the parts and the components and the process of electrolysis and everything. And that's also something you do not want to put into your body, again, because it's highly contaminated with endless uh, toxic chemicals. So if you are consuming tap water, it's probably a good time now to start looking at different water types. Okay, a few other important things to be mindful of, and also we'll go through now actually using the incredible bottle. So only strictly water inside, no tea, coffee, soft drinks, or anything else. Also, I forgot to mention when cleaning, just fresh lemon juice, no uh, oils or essential oils, lemon essential oil, they're technically oil. So please be mindful, strictly water inside. Also, you know, how much molecular hydrogen rich water should you drink and consume? Well, according to research and science, you can't have too much, you can't overdose, you can't, uh, there's no contraindications to consuming too much molecular hydrogen. So, you know, me personally, I consume all my water intake pretty much rich with molecular hydrogen. Now, of course, there may be times where I'm out socializing or whatever, and um, I don't have access to my bottle perhaps, but um, yeah, just some, something to be mindful of. But of course, if you have any serious health complications or issues, it's best to consult with a healthcare practitioner, a doctor, and get some advice. But um, generally speaking, according to science, there is no known uh, negative side effects or effects, or you can't overdose, you can't have too much. So there's no fear around consuming too much molecular hydrogen. Now, let's use our incredible bottle. So what we do is we take the lid off, and we grab our incredible water. So I've got Luso here, which is uh, one of the best waters you can get in Portugal, pH of 5.8 and a TDS of about 49. So it's some of the best water. And that's something that um, I've realized in Portugal. There's a lot of good waters. Okay, now what we do is we simply fill the bottle. Now, we fill it until the bottom of this aluminium ring around. So to the bottom there basically is where we fill the water. We want to allow some space between the lid and 
the, uh, water, the water because with molecular hydrogen, it is a gas and it produces pressure. Okay, so this is also why there is, okay, so now that we've got the water in there, we push the button once and it will activate the bottle and it will give us the incredible Lumavite logo. And then it will start the, as you can see, the three minute cycle. It's counting down from three minutes. So it is trying to get it focused two minutes and 47 seconds. As you can see, it's counting down. Now, if I push it again, then it will switch it to the six minute cycle. Okay. Now we have three cycles. We have a three minute and a six minute and a nine minute cycle. The three minute and the six minute is the only one that we use with the bottle with the 320 mil cell power bottle. The nine minute is designed for you to take the base and put it onto a larger bottle. So I've got a 500 mil bottle here and this is a 1.5 liter bottle here. So I'll show you how to do that. But please, please be mindful that, like I said, molecular hydrogen is a gas and it does produce pressure. So it produces pressure inside this bottle and that's why it's all sealed. And so even when you take the lid off after a cycle, you may notice a bit of a popping or release of pressure. So no running the nine minute cycle in the bottle itself because you could damage the lid with that uh, big amount of pressure. Also, if you do run, let's say a three minute or a six minute cycle and you forget all about it and you wanna run the cycle again, you want to remove the lid first. So if you wanna run the, another cycle on the same water, that's been in the bottle, remove the lid first to release the pressure, and then you can run a, a three or six minute cycle again. So as you can see, it's running, and I'm just trying to show, as you can see the little bubbles that are coming through. So that is basically the molecular hydrogen being produced in the bottle. And it's a beautiful process to actually watch. So that's basically how you change the cycles uh, by pushing the button. And as you can see, it will continue counting down until the cycle is finished. And then once it shuts off, then it's ready to basically drink. Now in the lid, we have three incredible programs. And how do we use the lid? Again, we push the button once and it will show us our incredible Lumavite logo. And then you get the option to select and choose one of the three different programs. And as you can see, we have energy recovery and the Lumavite program. Now, what you do is you push the button once and it selects one of the programs and if you push it again, it will scroll through. So you can select whichever program you like. And then what you do is, let's say I've selected energy, you double click. So you push the button twice and it will now run the energy program. And as you can see the logo there and the image, and there's it's saying that it's running energy. Uh, now, the programs in the lid, run for a lot shorter time potentially than the cycle. So once the lid program, the frequency program is finished and completed, it will shut off. And uh, so they're both completely independent and the lid programs may run for a lot shorter. In fact, the energy and recovery, I believe is only one minute. So don't be surprised if it shuts off after one minute because everything's working perfectly. So there you go. We're running the six minute cycle right now, creating our incredible molecular hydrogen, and we're running our energy program, imprinting information essentially into the water that will then consume and uh, give us energy. Okay, now I will show you how you can use the base part on a 1.5 or 500 mil bottle. 
So essentially, you unscrew the base, of course. Now, with the bottle, be mindful that, of course, you need this mouthpiece, which is the smallest universal mouthpiece. Yes, there are some bigger mouthpieces, but um, it's only the smaller one that it works on. So essentially, you grab the base and you screw it onto the lid. Now, actually, before I do, see this, uh, generally when you have the lid part and when you open a bottle, you have this part that's left around the mouth. Now, I've actually pushed this down, but it's a good idea to take that off or make sure that it's not going to interfere with screwing the base on. So I've, I've pushed it down so it's not in the way. And now we just screw it on like that. And then what we do is we basically flip it upside down. And now what we can do is run the nine minute cycle. So again, we push the button once and it turns on the base. And as you can see, there's the logo, so there's the battery level, then it's running the three minute. So we push it again. It's six minute, we push it again, and that activates the nine minute cycle. Now, as you can see, the bubbles and the molecular hydrogen is being produced. And that's now going to produce molecular hydrogen rich water on this entire bottle of 1.5 mil. So this is how you can produce uh, larger amounts at a time on more water. So basically this is a great way if you know you have children and you wanna give your children molecular hydrogen rich water, then you could do this before they go to school. Uh, also for gym, you know, if you're going to the gym, for example, um, instead of taking the bottle and constantly refilling, you could potentially create you know, 1.5 liters. So in certain situations, you would use this. Also, you know, many people have asked, can I take the bottle into a sauna? Well, no, you, we can't, like we explained. So this is where you can create molecular hydrogen rich water. And then, you know, the bottle, you can, this kind of bottle, of, of course, you can take it into any environment um, that, you know, electronic devices can't go into. Saunas, you can put it in the fridge, you can do all these things. However, one thing to be mindful of, of course, is that when we produce the molecular hydrogen rich water, whether it's in this cell power bottle or whether it's in a bottle like this, the longer we leave it, the molecular hydrogen starts to dissipate and starts to escape basically, even though that the bottles are sealed or the, the lids are on. So you wanna consume it as quickly as possible within the first 10 minutes, ideally. Uh, and you know, that's why the, the cell power is only 320 mil, because it's basically the equivalent of a glass. So what I do all the time, I produce the molecular hydrogen rich water and I drink it straight away, gone in like five minutes. So I make sure that I'm getting the most amount of molecular hydrogen. So, you know, you can uh, basically leave it longer, but just be mindful that the longer we leave it, it just slowly starts to uh, get less and less molecular hydrogen in the water. Okay, now let's run through the menus both on the lid and on the base. We'll do the base first. So we push the button once, we get our incredible cell power logo by Nuno Nina. Then we get the battery indicator, battery's full. And then like I said, the three minute cycle starts. If we want to change that, we push the button once and we get the six minute cycle. And again, like I said, if we do push the button again, it will change to the six minutes, uh, to the nine minute cycle. But of course, we only use that with a bottle that's uh, 500 mil or bigger. So what we do here is we hold down the button and it will stop the cycle. So again, that's how we stop the cycle if we want to cancel. Again, we push the button and the logo comes and the screen turns on. And then again, the three minute cycle starts. Now, here, if we push the button twice quickly, like that, we get 
basically the chromotherapy colors and we're able to change the color as you can see um, so this is blue then we have green as you can see the color changing and there's a dark blue and then as you go through you just have all the different colors that you can choose from now with the lighting you can't see it properly but yes you can go through and choose the colors then if you push the button three times quickly you get the sound and now as you can see it's on the sound is on if you push it once it turns the sound off so i want my sound on and that's it now if you hold the button down hold 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 it goes back to the cycle part so that's essentially how you navigate through the menu and use it now let's look at the lid so here's the lid we push the button and we get again cell power by Nuno Nina the battery indicator and then we get the three different programs we push the button once and we can scroll through to select which program we would like every push is just scrolling so if we select let's say recovery and then we push twice and then it starts to run the program now as you can see there's the image and it says number two which is recovery and then once that finishes it will turn off now if you do want to stop the program again hold push and hold the button and it will shut off and then again you push the button once it turns the lid on shows you the battery go to choose the program luma vitae double click and luma vitae and it's just going to flash this while the program is running again if you want to stop it you hold and done it cancels so that's essentially how you navigate the menu on the lid and on the base okay okay now some protocols and information on around how and when to use the three minute six minute the three different programs in the lid and there will be a more in-depth webinar and information from the incredible Nuno Nina um, around the principles the theories and the protocols and also there's going to be of course documentation to help you better utilize and understand the protocols and use them but from my basic understanding and just to touch on it uh, again of course with the molecular hydrogen production the three and the six minute cycles you can use those all day every day um, you know you can consume all your water with molecular hydrogen rich uh, water um, but then of course with the frequencies and the programs in the lid you don't want to go too crazy and use all day every day um, probably four, about four uh, a day for each one uh, and they all play different roles in different parts now Everything is basically designed around the sort of yin and yang principles, oxidation, reduction, and that we need different things and going through different things throughout the day. So essentially the way I understand it is, is sort of the three minute cycle is more the yang oxidation and uh, you sort of need, and, and gives you sort of, I suppose, more energy. And then the six minute is more the balancing and giving you more, I suppose, recovery and helping you through that process. So the way I've been using my previous bottle is the sort of three minute cycle throughout the first half of the day and then the six minute cycle throughout the second half of the day. So, you know, I'm trying to gain, I suppose, more energy throughout the morning and the day and then recovering later in the afternoon and uh, rebuilding, so to speak. Um, so that's how you sort of use it. And then with the programs, there's three different programs. We've got uh, Luma Vitae, the light of life, we've got recovery, and we've got energy. Now, of course, um, energy, self-explanatory, is designed to boost vitality, give you that sort of energy. Recovery, again, is designed for balancing, uh, I suppose, harmonizing and recovering. And, uh, you know, our body's constantly, obviously, trying to rebuild and recover. And then, of course, the Luma Vitae, light of life. Now, this is designed with the principle of um, the incredible photosynthesis and the sun also basically just like water it sustains life it creates life 
and it gives vitality and nurtures life. And so, you know, that program, it uses also uh, wavelength frequencies and um, it's one of the most incredible, profound aspects of our bottle that um, is basically mimicking the sun and the incredible power and life force that that gives. Okay, so I hope that was sort of helpful. And uh, yeah, like I said, there will be a lot more information coming on the protocols and the theory and the background and how to optimize.